Welcome to the Dalhousie Library's online tutorial series. This multi-part tutorial will explore the keys to successful searching with CINAHL, the Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. In part one of this video series, we will look at starting a search, turning key concepts into subject headings and adding them to our search history. CINAHL is easily accessible from the Dalhousie Library's homepage at libraries.dal.ca. You'll find it by clicking the Databases tab, then searching for CINAHL and hitting Search. You can then select CINAHL from the list of results. If you are off campus, you will then be prompted to log in with your NetID and password. To help identify our search terms, we should first look at the question we are trying to answer. When searching databases like CINAHL, it is to your advantage to strategically develop your clinical question. In real life, the questions we encounter generally don't come in a form that is ready-made for searching. We often need to fill in some gaps, so take some time to identify your information needs. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will trace the following sample question through the various search stages. Is swimming an effective therapy for females with osteoarthritis? So let's fill in some of those gaps. Who are we looking at? Females with osteoarthritis. What are we looking for? Proof of the effectiveness of swimming as therapy. Why are we looking for this information? We want to find the evidence that supports this question. Finally, where might we find this information? Likely in an academic journal, and the best way to find those is in a health database like CINAHL, so we're in the right place. Before starting our search, note that the default screen features three search bars. However, because we are searching for one concept at a time, we will only ever use the first search line. Also notice that there is a checkbox below the search boxes labeled Apply Equivalent Subjects. This feature includes related subject headings for your concepts, along with searching the keywords. Why should we care about subject headings as part of our search? Subject headings are consistent terms that are assigned to every record in CINAHL, like tags used in social media posts. Using them to search means you are more likely to find results that match your search question. Let's give the search a try with our concept of osteoarthritis. Enter our concept into the search box, click Apply Equivalent Subjects, and click Search. The results are a list of papers that include this term as a keyword, subject heading, or both. It's a lot of results, but don't panic because we will be adding in other terms later and the number of results will be reduced. We can also look for different terms by starting with the CINAHL Headings button on the home screen then looking our term up as shown here. Here we see that osteoarthritis is a subject heading along with more specific terms that we could also use. If we need clarification of a subject heading, we can look at the yellow scope note. This one says, a progressive non-inflammatory joint disease marked by degeneration of the articular cartilage, hypertrophy of bone at the margins, and changes in the synovial membrane, also called degenerative joint disease. That sounds about right. Selecting the checkbox next to osteoarthritis will bring up a list of potential subheadings that will narrow your results to articles covering specific aspects of osteoarthritis. These can be tempting as they will quickly narrow a search, but be careful. They will often exclude relevant results. Let's leave this search with the default Include All Subheadings and click Search Database. This brings the subject heading into our search history and tells us how many articles were returned. The results of our latest search will be displayed beneath the search history. This set of results is less than before because we haven't searched both subject headings and keywords, just the subject headings. Now let's add a second concept. Type swimming into the search bar. Again, we are given a list of search results, but let's check out CINAHL headings and search swimming there to see if there are different headings we can choose from. Swimming is a standalone subject heading located at the top of our results, and in this case there is no scope note, which can sometimes occur in a database. Clicking on a subject heading will take you to view its arrangement in CINAHL's subject hierarchy. In a hierarchy, entries are arranged with broader terms appearing above narrower ones. Sometimes there can be more than one hierarchy, depending on the context of the term, but here we only have one. Now we see that swimming is a narrower heading that falls under aquatic sports. If you ever want to include the narrower terms as part of your search, click the checkbox beside your term and then explode. In our case, swimming is already a narrower term, so there's no need to explode. Located beside the explode function is the major concept checkbox. 
This option narrows our results to articles in which our subject heading has been identified as the primary topic. Because our search question deals with multiple concepts, we'll leave the major concept box unchecked. After clicking the checkbox beside swimming, then clicking search database, our second term has been added to our search history. The next part of our question addresses our population, which is females. You can continue adding a search term to represent this using the methods we just used, but many databases have filters that allow you to narrow down results using gender and age filters, among others. In part two of this video series, we will look at supplementing our subject headings with keywords, combining our concepts with search operators, and using limits to retrieve the most relevant results for our question. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.